Do you know who was among the first to contribute to cancer treatments? Marie Curie's work made it possible for us to develop cancer treatments. Many of you have big dreams for your future. Like you, Marie had a big dream too. She wanted to be a scientist who could save people's lives. However, she had to overcome many hurdles in order to make her dream come true. The first challenge Marie faced was to conduct systematic and carefully designed experiments that required her to pay attention to a lot of nitty-gritty details. This challenge came up when she noticed a mineral that she believed had an unknown element because it had a different color and smell. She hypothesized that this unknown element was extremely radioactive. To prove her hypothesis, she had to separate out the element by using a chemical liquid to dissolve it. She tried this method for months, but nothing worked. The lack of progress was discouraging for Marie, not to mention boring. Can you imagine spending months in the lab, running lots of experiments, only to find out nothing worked? Marie started to feel this way. But she didn't give up. Instead, she analyzed what went wrong and revised her experiment. This time, there was no room for sloppiness. If she was careless, she could easily create a dangerous radioactive reaction. She had to follow the procedures carefully, double-check every calculation, and keep detailed notes. Eventually, she used 2,000 pounds of the mineral. One strategy she used when she felt discouraged was to think about how happy she would feel once her experiment succeeded. If she could identify this element, she would save thousands of lives. In the end, she discovered the element and proved it was radioactive. She called it radium, and it is used to treat cancer today. For her discovery to be used in cancer treatments, she needed to share the finding with other scientists. However, because she was a woman, many people doubted she could make a big discovery. During her time, people expected women to just look pretty and take care of the kids at home. How do you feel when people doubt your ability? Marie knew there was no way to control other people's judgments, but she knew she had total control over the quality of her work. Marie had to present her findings about radium to a large group of famous male scientists who all doubted her. To get rid of their doubt, she knew she had to give a superb talk. So she met with 30 different scientists to seek feedback before her talk. She listened carefully to what they had to say, and then went back to the lab and made adjustments to improve her work. In the end, her presentation was outstanding. These findings made her the first woman to win the Nobel Prize. Many years later, her brother asked how she was able to keep working when faced with many difficulties and constant judgment. She responded, We must believe that all of us are gifted for something, and we need to work long enough to discover that gift. <laughs>